What's he gonna do? Oh, he running into the sentry zone. He gonna get hex. He gonna get shackle. Yeah, he gonna get stunned and corrosive haze. Since the game has paused, I'm gonna show you guys some items update once again. And this is the scoreboard. Alright, we are back to the game guys. Game looking pretty dope for an EPNC. Eight is of immortal. He's just gonna need uh, team boom ID is just gonna need to win one big team fight and then yeah he they can easily come back in the game. But now the problem yes. of team boom ID is actually the same Dyer's like in TNC last attack. game is they kind of lack of initiator. They they, they lack attack. of anyone who who can go in first and start the fight with a stun. Uh, while team uh, TNC got Earth Shaker and Slada. Yes. This is actually the same items as in TNC last game. Crossy pays on next to scene. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. The fact that you don't have any initiator uh, makes you have to. Uh, it, it's gonna force you to play defensive, and when you play defensive. Your enemy will have a lot of space to farm and plan something out. The initiator or the engager uh, in Dota 2 these days are more important than ever. You can have, you can even have like two engager in a team, like Team TNC do this game, having an Earthshaker and a Slada. Now. How are they gonna engage with a slug? Engage with a slug will be very very risky. I mean if slug goes in, he die, then you all die. Right? How are you gonna engage with next scene? No? Because he got caught right now. He missed the impel. Since crush not gonna make it. 
да, да, да. Боже, ты посмотри вокруг, что происходит. Boom ID gameplay also kind of stuck. I mean, the fact that they have Necro Force. If you have Necro Force in the team, the best way is to grouping up and trying to push constantly. They didn't even try to push in uh, in a minute around like yes. 10 to 15. Nice for force. Yeah, he already got Rotobator, so he might use that cripple to start the fight. Maybe cripple someone and then follow up with an impale. Yeah, like I said, when you don't have an engager, you have to play very uh, defensive. Yeah, it's so easy for Team TNC to to do things around the map. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Nineteen to twelve game score. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance top tower is under attack. Um, not it, it, it. Instead of going for uh, the Radiant, Blood Seeker went for Ascension Yasha instead, and you're trying to make a Black King bar and also a Maelstrom. Hmm, I never see this. I am I'll not sure. That. I kind of doubt if. If Radiant's gonna be better than all these small items like Sentin Yasha or you know Maelstrom. Mark, the silent killer. You need to be careful that they don't know where the sentry ward is. But in terms of the late game hard carries, Radiant I think scanning. Team Boom ID still can fight. They got a slark. Salang is one of the best toe-to-toe -to -toe fighters in late game. Going in, throwing in, paralyzing cash, trying to aim for that slug. Uh, I'm sorry, blood seeker. Just follow the dead pulse. Dyer are scanning. Needs to see. Game has become surprisingly passive for both party. But it seems like they're just gonna do something. Dump down. Front right. Here we go. We're gonna be a big team fight right there. I, I, as I told you, I don't know how Team Boom ID is gonna start the fight. They don't have engager at all. This is exactly the same problem with TNC killed. last game. They had. Omni Knight last game of Team TNC, but then uh, now the Boom just have to defend the high ground. Now they have Dyer's to wait until the TNC make a mistake attack. going in too deep or something like that, but they are not gonna do so. Because all you need to do is just dropping an Agonim Scepter, Master Pen Wars, and shooting the tower down. This is so easy for Team TNC. One master pen wards with the defense can actually deal half HP out of the tower. Uh. 
Slaughter. Now they just have to wait for the cooldown the man's up in ward. Refresher. They're just trying to yeah, it's so easy for Team TNC. If you don't wanna fight, then we'll just farm. Waiting for the mess of Inward School die and then we go to the tower again. Now look at this one, TNC. Something impaled. As you can see, this is not a reliable opener. The books for the Earth Shaker. You went for a plus 50 damage, so you can add more damage to the... Uh, Ancient totem. Resage now got around like a 385 movement speed, but you know it's not that hard to kill Resage with the crossy pace. You know that, right? Oops, I'm sorry, Mr. Q's over there. It seems like Joe Cam just ran into, uh, ran into the Sentry Zone and he died. Some mad serpent wards trying to get a Roshan. This Roshan is really important for both teams. Fish Doctor. Let's take a look at the Slark trying to strike from behind. He also needs to be very careful about who Slark said. Nah, I think he's gonna start the fight. I think it was a little bit too late. No, not too late to get rid of that, that Sam Edge with the Reaper side. That dropping quite low for Vader Master. He eat the cheese. He gonna come back. Where's the Vader Poison Nova? They all on the Poison Nova. Echo Slam comes out. They're all gonna die. The triple kill for that teams. Holy moly, that Wombo combo. That's a team wipe. I team drop as well. Yeah, that's a lot of damage coming out from Venomancer. Actually, we, you have to thank to the Venomancer because this Poison Nova is so on point. And then Earth Shaker just jumped in, Echo Slam, and then that's it. So, uh, I think he and she should force a buyback out of Team Boom ID for a full win. Black Seeker still got an Aegis. Check and look at that. Almost like 600 damage coming out. Physical. Q 
team is really hard for Team Boom ID. It's about the draft. They got the most OP heroes, uh, Naval Force. But to have to play a good Naval Force, you're gonna need someone who can stop I'll for him. And, and you know, like, uh, it would be great if they have Earthshaker in their team for Team Boom ID. Team is playing so good on this one. He produced the most damage for his team, I believe. Black King Bar sent in Yasha and also a shot of blade. Top tower is under attack. Alright, here we go. Oh, the matter. Man, that is an additional price. I don't know why Ketsu doing over there. Ven Venoma scale comes out, poison no one, and he falls off himself away. That was pretty good kills. I mean, I'm sorry, pretty good play by the Venoma. Master Pin Wars is gonna eat up the um, range barracks right there. Blood Cry has been set in order to sort them out. Vader Master, no more poison, no one. Top barracks has fallen. And then imagine when Dyer's this old Carmen got a refresher. Blinking, oh, nice impale on two this time. Good open. Force up himself away for the Earth Shaker. They have to get rid of that Earth Shaker first because he's the key man Double in the team fight for team TNC. He got a gem. Say hi to all the guys Come in the chat room. Well, there are high possibilities that we are gonna go to game number three right here. Slaughter. Dumped in. Corsi uh, spike her pace to stun him as well. Scanning. Radiance are scanning. Radiance courier has been killed. Oh, nice skill is Korea. Here we go. Cover up with their wheel of this horde, and every single ultimate has been popped out. Necrofall died so fast. He's really low HP. Trying to stand still, but he kind of forgot that in this game for the Blood Seeker. So cool, cool. Just slap them one by one. Cool, cool. We cool. You cool, bro. We cuckoo, we cushy. Look at that. I hate. Fought back. Man, that should be it, really. I don't think they can defend without the um, without a slot. It would be very hard. Got like already for the blood seeker. That should be it for this game. 31 to 14, it's Dyer's the matter of time now. They're just Dyer's gonna go straight and end the game. Master Pin Wards. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Trying so hard for Team Boom ID to Dyer's defend the throne. It wasn't a good draft. I mean, they have tried their best. I, I actually respect them for that, but that draft is a little bit too hard. They have nobody using that Ninja scene as an off laner anymore because he's not a unreliable like opener. You can use it at a position 4, that's not bad. But let's have a good opener that next game. Seems like that's the problem for these two teams. Alright, we're gonna take a break for a few minutes and then we will be right.